since 1993, when pests and diseases like coffee wilt and banana wilt hit farmlands. There have been heavy losses estimated at over $450 million by the World Bank. The National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO, has for years been devising means to overcome pests and diseases. The research agency has developed more than 218 hybrid plant varieties for farmers. In the case of cassava, which is one of the major staple food crops, the National Crop Resources Research Institute working under NARO has developed different hybrid varieties like nase and lately the most commonly grown TME-14. TME-14 has improved yield by a big percentage in the West Nile region and in central Uganda. TME-14, abali miyawa singo bunji wa mkoze mnyo kusende. Eraba data ina msiri wa ika ya mwogo ya TME-14, mmakage, ngo ya jakufo wa hafu na anjala. Mwogo ya funo buka, kati nsigo zine zili improved, ze zitu ya ambye ndo kubela kakati, tuchia ina mwogo, tuchia lima mwogo, Ate de fetulia nyo muogo, ate kwe butufuna mochi, nesende. Cassava mosaic which affects the crop's ability to convert light into sugar, and cassava brown streak which brings rot to the roots, are the major diseases scientists are fighting through developing such varieties. All crop varieties farmers in Uganda use are developed using conventional methods of biotechnology. The Nase cassava series and TME14, for example, were all developed using controlled pollination. We use the pollen... We don't change it. We put it on the stigma. We don't change the stigma. The natural process takes place. And there, is, there are offsprings. And we keep improving those offsprings using the same method. Controlled pollination is still applied at the different research centers, although there are other crop varieties that have been achieved through genetic engineering. Many farmers are, however, ignorant about what genetically engineered crops are and often confuse hybrids for GMOs. Nzuri zanga ku. Kaka sante, vikina nga nga maulia ugatu seku district ila. Habavu nanyi zibabagu kari shia production department. Hebi tungu hebi kwa nanyi zibangani na dana difa. Tui kaka sante na vya ya weja baja tutu saka maulia wangu ya mlimogu wawe. Members of parliament who are tasked to consult people about the biotechnology and biosafety bill have a duty to inform, but a lot remains lacking. Mwana wa muganda we. Timbabu nanga ku. There is widespread resentment towards genetically engineered crops, not only in Uganda but world over. This therefore means that all agricultural stakeholders and policy makers have a duty to educate the masses about the genetic engineering of plants, their benefits and future prospects in the event that Uganda warms up to them. And there is a lot of evidence so far that these crops are very safe. But it is our fear which is pushing us to reject them, but I think the way science moves is that once an idea has come out, it will never be taken back. Conventional biotechnology that results into hybrids may soon be no match for major pests and diseases, although hybrids are still very productive. Methods like grafting that combine the strength of two or more plant varieties might also be challenged. The solution then will be modern biotechnology which results into genetically modified plants. Grafting can be classified as one of the biotech methods. Many farmers, especially those who do commercial farming, tell me it has benefited them, like farmers in Nakasongola who grow oranges. They graft lemon and any given variety of oranges, for example, Washington Navo. They use lemon because it is drought and disease resistant. <laughs> What we know is that farmers will adopt technology which is good. In fact, they will search for it. The biggest problem with farmers is that they require mentoring. Farmers want the biotechnology and biosafety bill to be interpreted so that they are informed about its benefits once passed into law. And the, when look at the farmers we have, the bill might be written in English, our farmers, for the farmers, they want things in their local language. The capacity to develop new agricultural technology and legislation in that regard has to be increased. While undertaking this, it is important to include farmers at every level because they are the ultimate users of proposed agricultural services. Frank Walisimbi, NTV.